Well, good morning. It, I will not be speaking as loud because my family is asleep. But I wanted to meet with you. So this is our first meeting. This is our first Coffee Treasures meeting. So welcome, Coffee Treasures family. Want to create some coffee community. I enjoy my morning coffee. So I'm going to be having coffee and sharing some of God's Word with you. My plan is to be here every morning except Sunday because on Sundays it is like crazy time in our house trying to get three people out the door for church. And so I'm not going to forego meeting with my church family every day. I guess I could get up earlier, but I don't know. I'm just... I feel like God wants it to be a six days, do this six days, rest on seven. So that's what I'm going to do. Today is January the 1st. And I started just a little bit early. And this is what we're going to do. This is part of my devotional every day. Is Jesus Always by Sarah Young. And uh, my book is getting worn. Because this is like maybe the second or third year that I'm going through this every day. So I read this every day because it has a date on it, uh, January 1st. I don't know whether you can see that or not. I think there's a glare from the light, but January 1st. But first of all, I always want to start out in prayer. And while I was waiting to start... I saw this, um, who she dedicated to in the scriptures, and I wanted to read that. And I want to read some about her. Uh, also, if you come on here and you would like one of these books, um, I get them from Amazon. I'd be happy to mail you one. Um, anyway, let's begin with some prayer. God, we thank you for, um, I thank you for this idea, God, that maybe we would touch somebody's heart. Maybe if they feel alone in the morning having coffee, they can have coffee with me. We can create a conversation about you and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. God, thank you for this book that you've given me that means so much to me, this uh, devotional God, that I read every day, and I even read to Seth every day, God. Just thank you for that, and thank you for all your many blessings, God. Today is a new day in the first day of a new year, God. I just pray that we would embrace it, and that anything that was bad in the past year, God, that we could just let go and move forward. God, it's so hard to let go of these things, these disappointments, and these things that did not happen the way that we thought they would happen. But it's okay. Maybe you have a better plan, God. Just help us to trust you more and more with everything that we have. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So my morning prayer on uh, in the mornings is going to be different than what I do at night. And I may change what I do at night, too, because I do an in-depth, quiet time with God every morning. So when I get through here, I'll have a little break, and then I'll continue my morning um, quiet time. But I also have to, I'm sorry, my eye itches, also have to do a morning routine with my son. He has Down Syndrome, so routine is very important. So we don't do it time-wise, but we do it um, task-wise. What do we do now? Then we do that, then we do that, then we do that. So, and I also homeschool our son. But we are off right now. I'm trying to decide when I want to start back. I am thinking... Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to start back this week or not. I'm kind of thinking the 10th is, would be a good day. 
that would give me another week of things that I can get done in my house before I start back. Okay, so I want to read to you. This is Sarah Young's dedication page. It says, I dedicate this book to Jesus, my Lord and my God, my Savior and friend. And here are some scriptures that I guess are important to her. Then will I go to the altar of God, to God my joy and my delight, Psalm 43, 4. You will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore, Psalm 16, 11. Though you have not seen him, Jesus, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. 1 Peter 1, 8. So, um, uh, as we go through this, I'm going to read to you more and more about Sarah Young. But today is January 1st, and so at the first of the month... This book has a lovely scripture that goes with the month, and it's kind of like maybe a theme within the month that she carries throughout. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Psalm 119, 105. So January 1st, we are going to read January 1st. I hope you have your cup of coffee. I invite you to... Maybe go get a cup of coffee uh, if you don't, because this is going to be what we do in the mornings is coffee and God's Word. So excuse me if I'm a slurper, I may be, especially if it's hot. It's kind of gotten cold, but it's okay. I drink hot coffee, I drink cold coffee, I drink iced coffee, I drink frozen coffee, so I have learned to like it at all temperatures. I just need the caffeine for my brain. I'll never come in here without coffee for my brain. So January 1st, and let me tell you something. My U my version verse is how I start my day with my coffee. And Instagram, I like to go in and Follow my Instagram people, which are mostly Christian artists, uh, Christian singing artists that I've seen in concert. I follow them on Instagram. And uh, my you version verse is in this today. So this is, and this book, the beauty of this book, I love it. Jesus Always by Sarah Young. I did not write this book. I'm sharing her work, her hard work. Um, is that this is from the perspective of Jesus. This is like Jesus is speaking personally to you, and I love that. I love it, I love it. Okay, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. As you begin a fresh year, rejoice that I am continually working newness into your life. Don't let... Recent disappointments and failures define you or dampen your expectations. I love that. This is the time to make <clears throat> a fresh start. I am a God of unlimited creativity. Expect me to do surprising things in this year that stretches out before you. Today is a precious gift. It is. We, we take for granted that God gives us a new day every day. The present moment is where I meet with you, beloved. So seek my face throughout this day that I have made. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have carefully prepared it for you with tender attention to every detail. I want you to rejoice and be glad in it. Wow, isn't that so powerful? That's powerful. Search for my signs of my loving presence as you journey along the path of life. Look for the little pleasures I have strewn alongside your pathway. 
sometimes in surprising places, and thank me for each one. Your thankfulness will keep you close to me and help you find joy in your journey. Wow, that is so powerful. That is so powerful. I just, I love this book. And I'm not just saying that. I really love this book. I love everything about this book. And the thing is, um, I read December 31st last night at my Pray and Share. Um, <laughs> and I did not remember what January 1st was going to be. Because it's been a whole year between. So I have a flip calendar that's the same way. Over there where I do my... my um, where I do my fighting on my knees over there in my office. I'm pointing to it. And I have a flip calendar and I read that every day too. And sometimes all these things just line up perfectly. Now we're going to get the Bible. I think I'm going to start getting my other Bible because it is just lighter. <laughs> it's a lighter weight. This is such a heavy Bible. But it's my study Bible too. Okay, so Psalm 1611 is the first verse we're going to look at. And welcome, if you don't make it at coffee time, then welcome whenever you come. Uh, okay, so Psalm 1611 says, You will follow me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. <clears throat> so again, just reiterating what we just read. It goes, takes you back to the scripture. I have some precious ladies that I'm going to invite into this time that I don't spend near t enough time with. And eventually, we may do this on Zoom too. Because I would love to see your precious, lovely faces. If I have to show my face first thing in the morning, um, I would love to see yours too. This is the day, this is Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I love that song. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's rejoice in today. God gave us a new day. God's given us a new year that we can further the kingdom of God. You know, anybody can do what I'm doing. Anybody. My cat wants out. Do you hear her? She came in and she's like, uh, new? I get trapped in here sometimes at night. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the specialness of how God works in my life. Because God brought me this verse last year and he brought it to me again today so I'm thinking that he wants me to remember this first and maybe you need to remember this first too because it talks about putting off the old things of yesterday yesterday is gone last year is gone we can never get it back can we make amends of maybe some of the mistakes that we made last year? Of course we can. Um, that we can't change anything that happened because it happened, good or bad, good, bad, or ugly. Because sometimes within the year we have good, bad, ugly, scary, all kinds of things. But this is a new year, and we're going to face new challenges this year too. But we're going to grow in different ways this year also. So, this is the verse. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. 
now it shall spring forth. Shall you know it? Shall you not know it? I will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. God chose us. If you belong in God's kingdom, if you are a child of God, God chose you to be his child. He chose you. He drew you to Jesus so that you would be saved. Be thankful to be chosen. This people I have formed for myself, he created us for him. Not for ourselves, not for our own happiness, not for, well, I feel like this today. He created us for his plan and purpose. They shall declare my praise. So let's this year, let's go into this year praising God. I went into this year praising God. I was so blessed to be able to watch Let Us Worship in Miami live. And I forced my family to watch it too. Uh, because I do not use the TV, our TV very often. I'm usually on my phone watching stuff at night. Or playing my game, my favorite game. I have two of them on my phone. And they're, they're just very like cookie cats pop. And I have a connect where you match things. You match two things. And you work a whole puzzle matching two things. Anyway, those are the two things I do. I do not do any of the games that are destructive. Any of the games that I think that the enemy has created against our newest, our younger generations, I do not play any of those. But I just wanted to get on here today and have some semi-hot cold coffee with you and to share God's Word. I think that this will probably be less than 30 minutes, if that, every morning, just to hop on here and do that, to share some things with you. Remember that God loves you above all things, and He wants you to love Him with your whole heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. He wants you to love other people. He wants you to trust Him. But most importantly, He wants you to find salvation through His Son, the Son that He gave to everyone so that they could find the way back to God. Because Jesus is our path that leads us back to God. I firmly believe that. I would like to say a shout out for this lady that is doing van life not that i want to do van life but i do like to watch these people i do like to see their creativity and what they do in a small space and because i have a small space here in my office and i'm looking for answers to a way to get a bed in here that doesn't take up a lot of space and just to transform this office into a guest room and an office and a place where I meet God because this is my favorite place to meet God. So anyway, she has her live video every morning and she has her coffee with people that come and watch and so I thought this would be fun. And eventually on YouTube, I want to do a live. I'm going to have to upload this to YouTube later. But on Facebook, on my phone, I can do a live on Facebook. I don't have enough followers on YouTube to be able to do that. I am going to create some more music content. It seems like I have more followers when I'm sharing music lyric videos, which I love to make. But I'm looking for another software. I cleaned out my computer yesterday of things that I can save in another location. And um, I would like to do some more music videos this year. Like maybe one a month. And release them on YouTube. Um, I'd like to do some special music this year. 
I'd like to do some of the things that I did not do last year. I would like to do an online Bible study for either prison ministry or um, an organization that I met last year that things just didn't pan out the way that I thought they should. But maybe that was God's plan. Uh, God is going to bring me a different car this year. I have to wait on Him to bring me what He wants me to have. And in the meantime, I may have to get mine fixed so that I have transportation. But those are my needs this year. But I'm excited about a new year. I don't know what it's going to bring. Only God knows that. But anyway, I want to meet with you every day except for Sunday. And I guess on Monday we'll double up and do Sundays and Mondays together. So, so Mondays might be a little bit longer. I'm going to try to be here at 8 o'clock. I may have to push it back to 9. But I am less than 30 minutes. Probably not going to be putting as much explanation out next time. I forget to introduce myself. And my name is Charm. And I am 61. And I am so close to my big money social security retirement if they don't spend it all. And I am going to do that this year because I have paid in since I was 16. And so if my money's gone, I'm going to be pretty upset. Not that I can do anything about it, but I can always be upset. But I know that God is going to supply our needs. He did last year. He did the year before when I quit my job. I really thought, oh God, how are we going to get food on the table? But he has supplied. <coughs> I have like, <coughs> excuse me, I have a part-time job. I, um, this year I sold some property, which hopefully is going to bring a payment every month. That's going to help. Um, God, trust God. Trust God with all you have. Just lay it all down for Him. And I am going to give more this year. I may not be able to give money, but I am going to give to other people. And I want to give somebody this book. I want to give somebody this book. I'm going to buy some more. So I want to bless someone with this book. So if that is you, then leave me your name. And I will leave my email address in the comments. So email me if you want this book. The first one to email me and tell me that they want this book. I will give it to them. And I am also going to start making some more jewelry this year. Jewelry. And I will be giving some of that away too. Because I want, that is, okay, so every year I choose some words. And that's my focus. And that's what I work on. Last year it was presents. Um... Testify and encourage. So I worked on being more in God's presence, testifying of the good things that He's done in my life, and encouraging others. So I had three. I have three this year. This year it's confidence. I'm walking in confidence of God, not myself. And um, I'm being thankful, thankful, grateful. And bless. I want to bless others this year. So those are my four words this year. Some years there's four. And Jesus is always the good news. And then there's some more that I wrote down during my quiet time. But anyway. Okay. Please share something about yourself. Please share that you want to join me. That you want to be part of this family. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. 
to subscribe. Just contact me through Facebook and I will add you to my list. I uh, apologize for my latest subscribers because I really have not said welcome. So welcome. I will be on again tonight to do my pray and share which I do every night. Um, I may do a different schedule for it. I don't know. I'm going to close in prayer. I am a chatty Kathy, and I want to go finish my coffee. God, thank you for this time. Thank you for waking me up this morning. I was really afraid I wasn't going to make it at 8 o'clock, and I was ready before 8 o'clock. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your word today, for your scripture of reminding us that you are making something new. And that you give us a new day every day with new blessings and new mercies, God. That we don't have to live in our past. That we can always live in the new. We can always live in the present. We can always meet you in the present. That even when we stray, God, you will reconcile us to that relationship through repentance. That, God, it's never too late to come to Jesus and be saved and receive that salvation and receive the newness of life. God, today is new. I'm going to pack away my 2021 Christmas and embrace this new year, God. I want to be in more service to you, God, this year. I want to be more thankful and grateful. I want to bless more people. And I just pray for anyone that comes, God, that they would be blessed by your word, not by anything that I said, but by your truths. And God, I do want to put a salvation message in here. If you are not saved, please, please call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Do not keep waiting. The, your newness of your life is waiting for you. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, well, I nearly called you Pray and Share Warriors, Coffee Treasure family. I love coffee. I hope you do too. Come see me every morning except Sunday. Know that I'm trying to get out the door so I can get to church. I love my church family. I've been with them for 30 years. I plan to be with them for 30 more unless Jesus comes to get me. Or unless the rapture happens, I am going to be here on social media as long as I can be uh, sharing God's truth. Not really being political. Sometimes I am political because sometimes I get upset. But I just want you to know that you are loved by God. And that he gave his son. Here's my bracelet. This is one of my favorite scriptures. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoso, whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16. But check out John 3.16-21 through 21 too. That does talk about if you don't have the Son, you have received condemnation already. So please do not put off the most important decision of your life and call on the name of Jesus and be saved because these are two things that I feel called to do is share God's truth in his word and to share the gospel of Jesus and Jesus brings peace Jesus brings peace I'm not going to do the peace sign although I am of the hippie age so I love you much I usually do much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. I do that every night. Um, more than that, have an awesome day. Your day is just beginning. My day is just beginning. Let's make it awesome. Let's focus on God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Be thankful. Be grateful. Walk in the confidence of God. You can share my words if you want. I don't care. I don't have anything on them. Anyway, till I see you Monday morning.
not good night, but have an awesome day. <laughs> Bye.